Okay, in this question, we're asked to use the identities um, that sine um, for sine A plus sine B and cos A plus cos B to show that the following are true. Now, formula booklet, you'll see the following two formulae uh, called the half angle formulae for what they've suggested to you. Now, do any of these look like what you're dealing with? Well, yeah, they kind of do because here, sine 2x plus sine 2y, this could be sine a plus sine b, where a is 2x and b is 2y. And similarly, cosine 2x plus cosine 2y, well, that could be cos a cos b, where a is 2x and b is equal to 2y. So we could state that a, using these identities, we're going to use a to be 2x, and b, we're going to use to be equal to 2y. So if we're dealing with this thing here, uh, let's start with the left-hand side. And we're having sine of 2x plus sine of 2y, all of that divided by cos of 2x plus cos of 2y. Now, what could we change this into? Well, using this formula here, we could change it into 2 sine of a plus b divided by 2. So 2x plus 2y divided by 2. And it would have a, a cosine. Uh, 2x take away 2y over 2. So 2x take away 2y over 2, like that. And we would divide it by this here, and so it would be 2 cos of 2x plus 2y over 2, and uh, cos uh, 2x subtract 2y over 2. Okay? So we haven't done much here, apart from realise that a had to be 2 and b had to be uh, sorry, a had to be 2x and b had to be 2y. Now I can do a bit of simplifying here. This here can be just x plus y, this is x, subtract y, etc. And the 2's cancel. So the 2 cancels here. Um, you could also note that uh, cos, uh, cos of x subtract y over 2 would cancel with this cos of x, uh, sorry, x subtract y. Okay, they would cancel. So what would we be left with? Well, we'd be left with sine of... 2x plus 2y over 2 is just x plus y divided by cosine of x add y, which by definition is tan of x add y. And that's exactly what we were asked to show in the original question. Okay? Right, part B. Well, it says, uh, hence show that tan of 52.5 is equal to this. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to take a copy of that just so I've got it um, close at hand. Go down here. And we're asked to hence show that the following is true. Now, hence, how could I do this? Well, let's look at what we've got. The identity we've proved to be true. Is this here. Now, we want to show that tan 52.5 is equal to this. Could we choose our, a, uh, our x and our y to add up to 52.5 um, and such that I, would, I could get that sort of an answer? And what are we looking for? Let's just reiterate what we're looking for. We're looking for an x and y that add together to be equal to 52.5. But more than that, we're looking uh, for these x and these y such that 2x gives me one of the uh, values of sine I know. Now, the values of sine I know are 0, 30, 45, 60, or 90. And similarly, that 2y has to be one of these things as well because they're the, uh, the exact values of, of uh, sine and, and cosine that I know. So 2y would have to be one of these two things as well. So that's telling me that x would have to be either 0, 15, 22.5, 30, or 45, and y would simply have to be 0, 15, 22.5, 30, or 45. So could I choose my x and y such? Well, yes, look, if I say, for example, chose my x to be equal to 30, and my y to be equal to 22.5, x add y would give 52.5, and both now would give an answer, that uh, something I could work out in terms of sine. So tan of 
30 plus 22.5 using this identity would be equal to sine of twice the x, so sine of 60, plus sine of twice this, which would be sine of 45, all divided by cosine of 2x, which would be cosine of 60, plus cosine of 45. Now, each of these are values of sine and cos that I should know. So, sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So, this would be root 3 divided by 2. Sine 45 is root 2 over 2. Okay, and all of that divided by cos 60 is a half, and cos 45 is also root 2 over 2. Right, so let's keep going with this. So, just dealing with the top first of all, this would be root 3 plus root 2 over 2, like that. And I'm dividing it by the thing on the bottom, so I'm going to change it to a divide here. I'm going to divide it by 1 plus root 2 over 2, like that. When dividing fractions, you could flip the second fraction and multiply. So this would be root 3 plus root 2 over 2, multiplied by 2 over 1 plus root 2. The factor of 2 on the numerator and denominator can be divided out. So I would get myself root 2 plus, so root 3 plus root 2 over 1 plus root 2. Now, that doesn't yet look like what I've been trying to show, but I can rationalise the denominator. So I'm going to multiply it by 1 subtract root 2 on top and bottom. And let's see what we get. So, put brackets around here. So, what would we get on top? We'd get root 3, subtract root 6, add root 2, subtract root 4, which is 2, so subtract 2, all divided by this thing here would turn out to be 1, subtract uh, 2, which is negative 1. So, what would we have? Well, we'd have all of this divided by negative 1, which uh, just changes the signs of each of these. So, what it would be, the negative 2 would be a 2, the negative root 6 would be plus root 6, and both of these would be negative, so root 3 and root 2, like that. And is that what we're trying to show? Well, yes, we've got the plus 2 here, perfect. We've got the plus 6 here, perfect. And we've got the negative root 3 and the negative root 2 here, just as we were asked to show. In fact, just to rewrite it in the way we were asked, like that, and we're done.